your daily journey with God. March 23rd, Life on Purpose. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Hebrews 5, verse 8. If John 3.16 is the most recognizable verse in the entire Bible, then Romans 8.28 is surely next. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. Christians love this verse because it says that everything, the good and the bad, that happens in our lives will be used by God for a purpose. While that is comforting, Romans 8.28 doesn't tell us what the good purpose is. For what purpose is God orchestrating all the events of our lives? Fortunately, we are told in the next verse, Romans 8.29, Whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. God's purpose is to conform us to the image of his Son. Our lives follow the same pattern of testing that Jesus followed. He learned obedience by the things which he suffered. As Jesus proved his sonship by his obedience, we are conformed to his image by ours. Whether this day is good or bad in your sight, it has moved you closer to the image of Jesus. God is working out his eternal purpose, not only in spite of human and satanic opposition, but by means of them. That is a quote. Quote by A.W. 